In this video, I'm going to explain to you why you should be doing research as a medical student or as a physician, wherever you are in the world. And more than that, I'm going to tell you exactly what type of research you can be doing that's impactful for medicine as a whole and for your own career. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Randerson Cardozo. I'm a cardiologist in Boston, Massachusetts in the United States. And before we go any further, I must tell you that the opinions here are exclusively my own. They do not necessarily reflect the opinion of my employers and nothing that I say here is medical advice. All right, look at this slide. We have here four publications. We have a randomized controlled trial, a case report, a narrative review, and a systematic review and meta-analysis. In this video, I'm going to explain to you why you should be familiar with all these different types of research, but more specifically, I'm going to tell you on which one you should focus your own research that can absolutely transform your career like it did with mine. All right, so reason number one why you should be doing research. Research is the only way forward in medicine. This is pretty obvious. I won't spend too much time on this. I will say this, though. Not all research has to be groundbreaking and internationally renowned. Think about all the great things that happened in medicine over the last century, uh, ranging from the uh, discovery of antibiotics to cancer therapies, transplantation, more recent in cardiology, transcatheter heart valves. So really amazing stuff, but you can have a tremendous impact locally as well. Think about some common problems. For example, heart failure readmissions. Did you know that 20% of patients that get discharged from a heart failure admission get readmitted within 30 days? A third of these patients get readmitted in 90 days and these patients have higher mortality. So imagine you can implement a strategy in your own community, in your own hospital, that reduces heart failure hospitalization, something that's unique to your health system that you can do and help these patients. What a tremendous impact you would have locally. That is research and that really advances your community and of course advances your career. Reason number two why you should be doing research. Research helps you develop essential skills in medicine, much more than what you learn in classrooms and medical school. It helps you learn teamwork. It helps you to learn leadership. It helps you to learn how to write. It helps you to teach others. So all these skills are really very helpful for your career much beyond just the research itself. So this is something that you should focus on and get those benefits from doing research also. And reason number three, of course, is that doing research will advance your career. A lot of the things that we discuss in this channel will be focused on that. You know, you can be a great clinician, a great educator, a great research. Whatever pathway you choose in your career, research will help you get there. Look at me. I've always been more clinically oriented, you know, since medical school, I've been involved in a little bit of research, but I've always been more clinically oriented. But I figured out early on in my career that doing research would help me become a better clinician. It would help me train in the best places and learn from the best mentors and so forth. So I did that. You know, I think I talked about that on the uh, welcome video in this channel, how as a resident, I figured out, hey, I want to get into a great cardiology fellowship. I have to do research. So doing this will help you go wherever you want. You want to be a hardcore researcher, a PhD, do a master's. Of course, you need research. You want to be an educator. You want to be in academic medicine. How do you think promotions are granted within an academic system? It depends a lot on your research productivity. What about if you want to go to private practice? Well, like I was saying, being a good researcher, having publications will help you get the best training, will help you have authority in your community, in your field of practice. So regardless of what you want to do with medicine, even if you want to go into leadership, into administration, into teaching, into clinical work, whatever it may be, doing research will help you get there. So now let's focus on how you can get this research done to accomplish those three goals, to advance medicine, to improve your own skill sets, and to advance your career. If you're starting out from scratch, like I imagine most of you who are listening are starting from scratch, um, let's face it, you know, doing a randomized controlled trial is gonna be out of your reach at this moment. Eventually you will get there, 
doing the research that I'm going to teach you how to do will open the doors for you to doing that like it did in my career. I participate now in randomized studies uh, doing cardiac imaging, for example, but I didn't start there. I started doing other types of research that I'm going to explain you how to do that. Okay, what about doing a case report? Well, to be quite honest, after you've done a couple of case reports, they're not just, they're not worth your time anymore. You know, in most cases, they don't accomplish any of the three goals that I said. They don't advance medicine as a whole. They don't develop new skill sets for you once you've done more than a couple. And they won't advance your career that much. You don't want to have a five, six, seven publications that are just case reports. Like I said, you can have a couple, but they're really not going to advance your career in any substantive way. All right, what about doing narrative reviews? They're definitely a step up from case reports, but you can actually do better than that. And that's what I'm going to teach you here. Do you want to do something that's impactful, high in quality, really advances your skill sets, helps you do teamwork, and really advances your career, helps you get impactful research done in the literature, impactful research for the medical community and for you, well, then you have to learn how to do systematic reviews and meta-analysis. That's how you're going to get there. So stay tuned to this channel, hit the subscribe button, like the video, share with your friends. Soon I'm going to be posting videos here on how you can effectively do systematic reviews and meta-analysis on your own. Remove all the barriers that are preventing you from doing impactful research that will add to your skill sets and will advance your career. I'll see you in future videos.